dedicate your five to six months to DSA and problem solving and you will Correct. surely reach your dream company. Okay. And currently I'm working as SDE intern in Palo Alto Networks. And previously I worked as SDE intern in Informatica as well. And I have received offer of SDE intern from Amazon. Hi and welcome back to Coding Ninjas friends. Today I'm Kabir Singh and I'm here with another spectacular interview experience for you guys. So today I have Vishwajit and we're going to discuss the interview experience for a really spectacular company, which is Amazon. So again, we are going to do the mainstream things which we do in an interview experience. We're going to brief out every round for you, try to understand how the interview went and also discuss some tips and tricks so that we can crack companies like Amazon. So let's welcome Vishwajit and see how it goes. Hi, Vishwajit. How are you? Hi, Kabir. I'm fine. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Vishwajit, can you give me a small introduction about yourself? Yeah. As you already mentioned, my name is Vishwajit Yadav and I'm pursuing my B.Tech in Computer Science Engineering from Lovely Professional University. Okay. And currently I'm working as SDE intern in Palo Alto Networks. And previously I worked as SDE intern in Informatica as well. And I have received offer of SDE intern from Amazon recently. That's great. That's really nice. So Vishwajit, if I talk to you about the Amazon interview experience, how many rounds were there when you sat for the interview? For interview, there was only one round, which was totally based on data structures and algorithms. Okay. And other than that, you didn't have any other rounds or maybe an HR round or an uh, online assessment? No, like only interview round, there was only one interview round. And other than that, we only had one online assessment and one uh, CV shortlisting round. Okay, so CV shortlisting round is pretty simple to understand. But when you talk about the online assessment, what actually happened in that? Can you tell me a brief about it? Okay, so like Amazon visits LPU every year for recruiting students and like it visited LPU campus and I applied for it. Mm -hmm. And like we got the link for online assessment and it contained three DSA questions, which were okay. supposed to be solved within 90 minutes. Okay. And uh, there were also like MCQ questions, 10 to 50 MCQ questions were there based okay. on DSA only and mm -hmm. like... A stipulated time was 90 minutes only for completing these tasks. Okay. So including your three questions of DSA and the MCQs, you got 90 minutes. Yeah. Okay. Quick question. How much time did you take to solve this assessment? One question was pretty easy. And mm -hmm. uh, the second was a kind of medium. It took a little bit time and the third was easy. So like overall, I took around 60 to 65 minutes to complete this assessment. Okay. And when I talk about the entire difficulty of the round, including your, you know, the MCQs and the questions, the time foundation, how much would you rate the difficulty of the entire round? Would you rate it to be easy, medium or hard? It was medium, not hard. Okay. It was medium. And this is considering someone who has actually practiced lead code or a beginner also can treat it to be hard. I felt it to be like medium, not hard because like I have been into competitive programming for a long time. Yes. Like I have sold more than 1000 questions on lead code, code staff and code forces. So like I'm saying like those who have good practice of DSA and problem solving, they will right. not find it difficult. So yeah. Correct. Correct. I guess that's the point out there. Okay. Moving forward to the interview round. How did that go for you? Can you tell me about that? Okay. So like the total duration was around 45 to 50 minutes. And like when I joined, the interviewer was already there. So like after a brief introduction of both of us, uh, we started with the DSA question. Like he okay. gave me a question, which was modification of largest island, which is their own lead code. Mm -hmm. So like we were supposed to, you know, first discuss our approaches with the interviewer, like how we will approach it. And then we discussed it. And then we were supposed to implement this, like in any language, like we can go with C++, Java or Python, whichever we want. And after like implementing it, like if you can improve it, like make it more efficient, then it's better. Then they will discuss those efficient algorithms or ways. And like after discussing that, we discussed its time complexity and space complexity and other related stuff to that, like one, two modifications or corner cases. Great. And like after completing that, they discuss a bit about uh, OOPS and DBMS, like asset properties and all the polymorphism, runtime polymorphism, compile time polymorphism, these type of basic questions. Correct. Correct. That's, that's really nice. Okay. So finally we have come to an end to the interviews, but I really want to interview rounds, but I really want to know one thing from you since you've actually worked in two places, you've got offer from Amazon as well. What would be that one thing that you would recommend your juniors or maybe your peers out there who are planning to get into software engineering and all that interviews and, you know, getting up into product based companies, what would be your piece of advice for them so that they can crack good companies like you? Okay. So like to all the friends, 
friends out there who are willing to get a good job in product based companies i'll recommend you to just be consistent and believe in yourself and dedicate your 5 to 6 months to dsa and problem solving and you will right. surely reach your dream company like there is no secret ingredient other than practicing the more you practice the more efficient you will become in problem solving right. so uh, don't give up and you will surely achieve your dream company that's that's really nice also guys vishwajit has given out an awesome article on our website as well for the same amazon interview experience wherein he has mentioned the problems as well which you can practice on the platform code studio i'll put the link in the description below you can always go and have a look at what he has written for you guys and then you can solve the problems as well and i hope problem solving and you know solving those specific problems may be coming in handy for you so that you can uh, you know have a better hold on interviews when you set for the companies like amazon so i really thank you vishwajit for giving us such a spectacular interview experience and i hope we shoot a new video with you pretty soon so thank you so much for coming to the channel and i hope you like the video guys hit the like button and the subscribe button to coding ninjas i'll see you in the next one happy coding guys <laughs>